When international student Emmanuel Gomez got a job offer to test new technology, he couldn't believe his luck. But it was a scam and he's lost almost $30,000. I would have preferred to cry and, you know, put all that feelings out. I tried to find which are the actions that I should follow to have this sorted. Emmanuel transferred most of that money between two Australian banks. When he alerted his bank, it was too late. They told me, well, it's a bit late because the funds have already been transferred to an overseas account. Australian customers of the big four banks lost half a billion dollars to scams last financial year. We're constantly receiving calls from customers who have been scammed, have been on the phone, straight on the phone to their bank when they've realised what's happened um, and already it's too late. The banking industry says a new tool will allow banks to share information faster. It won't recover every dollar. But the speed that this new technology allows uh, will see more victims uh, have their money stopped and return to their accounts. Consumer groups have welcomed the move but remain concerned it's not enough. It can't be incumbent on consumers to be the ones having to report the scams. What's needed is the banks to invest in measures to detect scams. Critics also want to know why there isn't a universal approach by the banks to check whether new payments are being made to the correct account holders. The industry says it's working on it. It would certainly make a difference for some kinds of scams, uh, but not all. And that's why the industry is currently looking into how that could occur. A change that could save even more money. Michael Atkin, ABC News.